Hey guys, Dalton with Jaspertronics, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to open up a Sony 4K projector. And whenever I say open it up, I mean we're going to actually take the top off of this unit so that I can show you guys how to like deeper maintenance these units. Um, they do have a couple of problems now. Uh, most of them are related to airflow and all of the dust and gunk that can get into these airways and these fans. So let's uh, get this popped open and take a look inside and I'll show you what you need to take a look at in order to keep this thing running. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, with these units, the first thing to do really is to just kind of flip it over. That's where you want to start, because all the screws are down here. So there are a bunch of screws on this like bottom panel right here. It, they more or less like hold the motherboard in place. Um, that's where like the main board's at and all the all of your HDMI ports and whatnot. That's all down here in this bottom compartment. But we don't we don't have to mess with this at all. So any of these screws right here, we don't have to worry about those. What we're looking at are these screws along the sides, right here. So you've got three screws right here. You've got four screws right here, and then two screws at the back right here. We also have these two screws right here, which we'll get to in just a second. all right so we got those taken care of all of those have been removed um, but you might find that the top cover still won't pop off, and that's because there are actually more screws that are underneath this little maintenance hatch. So we talked about this maintenance hatch in our previous video on these Sony 4K units, so there's really no reason to go over that again. If you haven't seen that video yet, definitely take a look at it and check it out. It's going to go over what you need to do on this side of the projector, essentially. Because there is some maintenance that you can do from just right here from this access hatch. Okay, now that we got this open, let me show you right here. You'll see these arrows right here? They're pointing to two more screws. Those are the last two screws that hold this top cover in place. So let's get these removed. All right, let's get this flipped back over again. Be a little careful because the cover is going to be loose now. It is basically willing to pop off at this point. So in order to get this up, what we do, lift at the back, it'll come loose. This is loose. It's clipped along the front right here. Just pull towards you. That's all you gotta do. But keep in mind about this cable right here. Ah, yes, hidden cable. So this runs to your keypad. This right here, Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. It's kind of hard to see here. Just my lighting here. But this right here, this is just a little wire running to the keypad. Got a little notch on it. It unplugs. Like there's not much to it. It's just got that little clip. It comes off just like that. Pretty simple. Nothing to it. Um, these things like to fill up with dust. It's just kind of what they do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over some fan locations for you guys because this is this is really the big deal here. So I showed you how to clean out underneath this. So this is actually the fan assembly right here that you can see part of from the bottom. But if you look to the side right here, I'll show you as best I can here, there's actually a, some vents right in here that you can actually blow this out from this side too. So once you have this opened up, you can literally hit this from both sides and start getting the dust moved out of the projector. Um, you'll be amazed at how much dust comes out of this. These are fully enclosed. They're very hard to open. Um, I do not recommend 
trying to get this opened and getting all of this pulled out because there is a bunch of stuff that is in the way of doing something like that. All right, now, so the next thing to really look at are going to be these fans towards the back here. So we've got a big intake fan right here for the actual lamp. This is what keeps the lamp cool. And then we've got another intake fan right here next to, I think this is the ballast. It looks like the ballast. Pretty sure that's the ballast. So right next to the ballast here, and which would make sense because most ballasts have a cooling system. So these are two of the most important fans to get cleaned on these units. These fans, they like to fill up with dust. This fan right here in particular is very hard to remove, but it's also very exposed where it's at. You can really you can really see in there, and it's actually really easy to get blown out, especially if you open up this lamp compartment right here. And then once you have that out, you can actually see where this kind of funnels the air through at. It'll blow out this way. You can get it all cleaned out. Nothing is really going to be able to stay within the projector with it open like this. You can see everything. You can get it all blown out from here. Um, the other big thing to look at is this fan right here. So it's plugged in with one cable. That's really all there is to it. And one of the big things that's in the way of this fan is this right here. So we're going to remove it. It's pretty easy to remove. There's only a few screws that hold this thing in place. Now this does have a cable attached to it. It can just kind of hang out there off to the side. It's really not a big deal. Just remember it's got the cable attached to it. You don't want to yank on that. So now that more or less exposes this fan right here. So let me grab this, get in here and show you. That shows this fan right here. You can completely clean this fan from right here. You don't have to do anything further to it. I recommend unplugging fans before blowing them out if possible, um, because sometimes the fan can actually, whenever it starts spinning, it can actually return voltage to the actual motherboard um, and generate energy, which can sometimes cause issues. Okay, so the next thing to look at is going to be um, the other exhaust fan up here. So in order to really get to that, um, we've got two little boards right up here at the front. One is for the IR receiver for the remote. The other one is for the lights. So this is kind of a pain to unplug. The clips on the bottom, you gotta kinda get underneath it, but it'll come off. And then you've got two screws down here, so it can be kinda hard to see, but one screw is right there, and then the other screw is right down here. Let me try and get a better shot of that, right down there. So that just holds the front panel in place, and we're going to remove this and get this out of the way so we can look at that other fan. All right, now that those are removed, this just kind of pops off at the front. It's got some clips that hold hold it in place. You can kind of see those once you get it loose. And then just remember, we got this one other cable right here. Let's just undo the clip here, if it will allow me. There we go. Kind of a small clip, small fingers help. All right, so now that we've done that, we have exposed the final fan. Let me show you. And there it is, right there. Very easy to clean once you get it to this point. Not a whole lot to that. All right, let's get this clip back up. Perfect. Okay, so the last thing that we're really gonna look at is how to, and I'll just kind of set that right there so it stops dragging around, how to get to this fan right here. So this one is probably one of the more important fans. It's what keeps the ballast cool. Um, a lot of times this fan can be a problem child because 
it's kind of hard to get to. All right, so we unplug that. That's basically the power for the ballast there, at least part of it. And now we've got a bunch of screws. So let me just unclip it right quick so I can show you guys here. If we go down here, we've got this ground wire right there. That needs to come undone, that needs to come undone, and that needs to come undone. And then it can be kind of hard to see, but there are more down in there. So we got another one right in there, and we got another one right over there. I think there is, yes. There are two more right down in there that can be kind of hard to see. But they're the ones that are attached to the fan. You can see the little black nubs where they jut out at. And it's those two right down there. Not the not this little golden one right next to it. You don't have to worry about that one. It's these two right there. Those two black ones. All right, let's reclip this. All right, let's get those screws removed. Now for this screw, if you notice, the screwdriver's not reaching it. It's not long enough. This has this shielding right here that's in the way. So in order to get to that screw, you need a long screwdriver. Give me one second. Ever hear of a 10 inch barrel magnum? Well, here's my 10 inch barrel screwdriver. there you have it that exposes the fan you can now see it clear as day get it blown out get it cleaned out if you want to unplug it from the projector um, you can do it most of the way you can unplug this one you can unplug that one that's a bug that's fun still finding dirt in these things um, this one doesn't remove you can't remove that um, so that one stays right there unless you want to take apart this whole assembly, which isn't really necessary if we're just trying to clean out this fan. So that's really how you get to everything on this unit that is kind of a major point of concern, uh, places to clean, things to get blown out. Um, with these projectors, there are a ton of hiding spots. You can find that you start blowing, like, say, underneath here, and you're finding more stuff coming out. Um, it's, it's just kind of what these projectors do. Dust hides all over the place, so you can spend a good 30 minutes getting these things cleaned out. But this is where they build up at. They build up on these fans. Get these fans cleaned out first, and you should be good. Um, well, anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps this video up. If you guys liked the video, um, definitely leave a like. Um, if you are excited for more content, we're going to have more projector-based content coming up. Uh, I've been working on a ton of different units, got a lot of things in the works that I'm very excited to share with you guys. So subscribe if you want to see some of that. And if you just have any general questions or, you know, want to say hey, leave a comment down below and uh, we'll talk. So thanks again, guys. Um, we'll see you in the next one and have a good one.